on that dinger. Were you waiting for any pitch in particular tonight? Uh, I was just looking for something up and uh, got it and put a good swing on it. Now you are one of the upperclassmen and leaders in a sense on this team. How do you feel the team came out tonight and responded overall? Uh, we got to show up tomorrow. Um, didn't threaten enough in the later innings and uh, got to show up tomorrow and do better. Okay, Sebastian, first of all, give us a little background on how you developed your pitching mechanics. Uh, I don't know, it just, it's always been like that since I was a kid, just trying to incorporate more of a push-off, and then it just led to more things, but I mean, that's part of it. Now talk about the offseason. What was competition like getting the starting position to be a pitcher tonight for the first game? Um, it, I mean, it's like any other game. I mean, it's the first game of the season, but I mean, you just got to play it like it, you know, play it the whole your whole life. Now what was working for you tonight on the field? Uh, my fastball, so I was just trying to loco locate it back and forth. Which, first of all, coming off a loss tonight, what was the process like choosing Sebastian as a starting pitcher? Well, Sebi was as good as, as, as we knew he could be. Uh, he certainly pitched well enough to win. Uh, we've got to be able to score him a few more runs. Uh, but Sebi did really well, and, and that's what we expect him to do all year long. Now, do you feel any pressure coming into the season being a defending 2015 LSE champion? No, not at all. Pressure's, uh, pressure's what you apply. Pressure's not what you feel. So our job is to go out and apply pressure. Uh, you know, last year's behind us. We, we can't live on, on what we did last year. That, that doesn't do us any good. So we've got a new group of guys, and uh, we're going to figure out how to play here before too long. We're going to be a very good team when it's all said and done. Now, you were very aggressive on the Bates pass tonight. Is that something you will use moving forward on the season? Absolutely. We're, we're a very aggressive team. We're a very fast team. Um, it didn't work out tonight, but we're going to continue to, to, again, like we talked about, we're going to continue to apply a lot of pressure. Thank you. Now the Halbalinas did fall short to the Oklahoma Christian Eagles 4-2-3. Now the Eagles did come back in the ninth inning to score three runs, giving them the lead. The Halbalinas do play them tomorrow here at Nolan Ryan Field at 1 for a doubleheader. Thank you so much for watching here in Kingsville, Texas. I'm Teresa Desma.